Alright, so hey, it's me again. Long time no see, right? Um, anyways, I have been incredibly busy these last few months. Um, and I don't know how I managed to gain another subscriber, but welcome to my channel. <laughs> the dork is back, and I am here for the knitting and the crocheting. Which, it's been a while, but I'm also going to be starting to talk about new things in my vlogs. I'm going to vlog specifically for the uh, new things that I'm going to be talking about. And I'll be uploading them to new playlists as I do. I'll kind of keep the things that are specifically separate topics. Like when I start talking about, when I start making vlogs about my pagan study, that will be its own um, playlist. Because I don't want to kind of jumble up with my crochet. Like... Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. Let's not jumble topics now, because that will just get awkward. And then when I start talking about the things that I'm learning, as well as, um... Uh... My personal studies, a.k.a. Because I'm starting to learn Russian. Right? For whatever reason, I decided that's the language I'm going to focus on. I've officially committed myself to the Russian language hysterically enough so with that said that's gonna be that's my study right there and then I'm still working on these tiny baby blanket squares which I talked about maybe once or twice at some point in one of my early videos um but I finally have a person I'm making it for I decided um I'm gonna make a baby blanket for my co-workers who is pregnant right now she is about to pop soon though so I really gotta get a move on this because I have a lot of squares I need to make to make this work. Especially since I've been procrastinating on it for the last month. Um, and then I've got my flower scarves. I don't know if I talked about those here. Um, I may have talked about them in my other channel when I tried kind of converging channels. Horrible idea in my opinion because my channel wasn't very popular in the first place anyways. I did much better over here when I started talking about my crochet and stuff, so I just decided to give myself a fresh start on the gaming channel, if I even ever go back to that. So I don't know. I may or may not. I've been too busy and too stressed out to really, to really care, sadly. So um, yeah, I've I've decided to kind of move my focus back into my crochet and my um, reading again since that's really what I want to be doing. And I also have, um, I started working on the new set of flower scarves, the project that I've been working on. This is kind of the dark purple, you can't see the color very well, but you can kind of see it. And then I got the light purple ones, they're like a lavenderish color. And then I got green ones and yellow ones. I'm making orange ones currently. Here's the orange. Oh, fudgy. Okay, right here. There we go. Orange little flower there. Um, and then I've also got light pink, kind of a more vibrant pink. And I'm going to be working on making those into more sets. And then this is... Let's go back to the Russian. Um, I've got... I bought. I picked up this book at Barnes & Noble at some point, which came with a little learner's dictionary, four audio CDs, and I'm ecstatic about it. And then I, I've already started taking notes in a notebook, like just a plain composition notebook. And so like I've got notes upon notes upon notes upon notes in my little notebook here, which I'm super excited about, stupidly enough. And I've also got this, I picked this up at the public library. Um, I get to keep it because I it was bought from the uh, bookstore in our library. Very cheap. It was like... It was a dollar, I think, for this. Uh, not bad, right? So I picked up a Russian English dictionary. That's not the only one I picked up either. I also picked up this German English dictionary because I love the German language, although I may never learn it. It's never bad to have the resources. Anyways, and then I've got, let's see. I don't know if I ever showed this again, but I have this whole big old card here. <laughs> I don't know if I ever really showed much of my cart, but that's kind of my cart there. And then, let's see, let's move my knitting out of the way for a second. And then, this is the new color I started working on for the baby blanket. Which, the original colors were these three. The green, the purple, and the blue. Which, you can't see them very well, but there we go. 
um, the green, the purple, and the blue, and then I started adding this nuclear yellow. <laughs> That's what I've nicknamed it, because holy fudge, that is, actually no, what I originally called it was radioactive yellow, because, wow, this is yellow. <laughs> oh dear, it's yellow. And then we've got nuclear orange. It's not, this is actually just called orange, but it's so freaking orange that I've called it nuclear orange. I'll be posting a picture on Instagram about that too. And then I'm also gonna be adding a more rich purple color, which compared to this one, fudgy. It's kind of different. This one's a bit darker. You can't really see it well, but fudge this bloody web webcam is crap. But, oh dear. Okay, and then that's kind of what I've been working on. As you can see, I'm a little scatterbrained as well. Um, <laughs> but that's kind of some of the stuff I'm going to be working on and talking about. And then I'm also going to be talking about my pagan study, which I don't know if I ever brought this book up earlier, but I'm trying to read this. I stopped reading it like ages ago, and I'm trying to finish this freaking book. So, um, yeah, fun, right? I'm still in the first part of the book. I'm like in the second chapter. Um, and I'm using it for my pagan studies. The reason why I'm doing that is because I decided that before I start getting or before I start delving into learning about my gods and my practices and stuff, I'm kind of working with that. I am going to better myself even if it kills me. So, with that said, Oh dear, I've knocked into my microphone again. With that said, I already started taking a bunch of notes in my little notebook here. I've got so much in here. It's barely containable. Barely containable at all. But that's kind of a glimpse into my notes. Um, I, did it, I decided to do it in kind of a bullet journal fashion, which I will be talking more about my bullet journaling as well. Especially since I plan on starting to go to community college in the spring semester. Which is incredibly exciting for me. Um, I've decided that I'm going to do that. If things go as planned, I will be starting spring semester. And I'm incredibly excited about it. Next spring semester, because in the fall, because this is the end of the semester. Or it's going to be. So I'm not going to do the fall semester. That's too soon for me. Considering I just now decided this. Um, but I'm going to wait until the spring semester next year. To start going to community college. And I'm going to be talking a lot about that as well. Especially considering I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. But, you know, I'm just... I'm an insecure little thing, alright? <laughs> I can see my hair's being a little wacky back there. But, um... I plan on talking a lot more about my crochet. I plan on crocheting a lot more. And I've just been so busy and tired. And I finally found a little bit of a reprieve that I can finally get back into the groove of things. And I'm just super excited. And I think that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my links. Check out my Patreon. If you feel like supporting me, just do that. Then if not, oh well, I'll be fine. <laughs> I've done I've done fine thus far. <laughs> but with that said, I've got all these ideas, all these plans. Let's see if I can start working on them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again so much for watching.